Okay, good uh, morning. So this uh, tutorial video will be focusing on uh, the political parties and developments up to 2002. So basically this video is for those tutorial classes that uh, missed out on Friday uh, before the test. So what I will do in this video is try to uh, go through the tutorial questions and discuss some things that are important going into test uh, one. As we all know, the lecture starts from the objective here, and that is the lecture tries to discuss factors affecting the development of political parties, um, discuss the challenges and efforts addressed uh, the weak party system in Papua New Guinea. Now, it is important that we take into consideration the, um, the each questions um, that is presented here. So, for example, question number one, title question that is, identify and discuss factors affecting the growth of political parties before independence. So, we are basically looking at uh, trying to see what factors, and I've discussed in the lecture, factors such as um, the weak party system that we have um, that is due to um, lack of organization and that that was uh, what I was alluding to when talking about the new reform but it started off as a weak fluid and weak party system this is because there was lack of any ideological development before independence that set forth uh, the notion that political parties existed during those times to feel, fulfill one aim and that is to achieve self-government. And like I stated in the lectures, after self-government, the political parties that existed um, started to lose their way, their focus and the vision and the objective after self-government. Now that resulted in the weak party system or the structure that we have today. Um, you can see there in challenges number one, A, we have flu party and weak. That is basically referring to an uh, unorganized uh, structure in organization, finance and also life expectancy of the party. Secondly, also, um, party allegiance are personalized and localized, meaning that when you see a political party, you sort of relate that political party to a certain member of parliament. For example, in the time you associate National Alliance with late Grand Chief Sir Michael Sumare and PPP with Sir Julius Chen. Now, in addition to that, the large number of political parties without any form ideologies uh, resulted in failure of a mass-based party model and that has resulted in high turnover rates that um, I've discussed so let me see if I have that figure here okay this is the high turnover rates that I am talking about so high turnover rates basically means that um, first time MPs sort of lose their ways in parliament uh, in each election. For, so for that matter, in this table here, you can see in 1977, you have 62 MPs uh, that lost uh, in 1977 elections. 62%, uh, 52%, 47 and then 75% in 2002. So there is a high probability of uh, large numbers of first time MPs losing parliament. And that also captures the um, politics of that time where MPs are more focused on re-election than uh, delivering or representing their electorates. And as a result, um, constituency and electorates sort of lost, uh, lose support for these MPs. And as a result, you see high turnover rates. And the third uh, challenge or the third factor you can say is the tradition of party opening and its impact on political stability. Now, vote of no confidence has become a common feature in Papua New Guinea politics. And this is a result of coalition uh, becoming too personalized and localized and not, not strong enough to withstand okay, 
the structure of party and also survive in this weak coalition environment. So going back to our question, um, factors affecting uh, political parties, uh, what we say weak coalition, lack of party organization and high turnover rates. Now the challenges, second question is, discuss the challenges of political party system from 1975 to 2002. What are the challenges here? So the question sort of, um, you have answers sort of uh, find its way into the three questions here. Now, the challenges is, is again presented here. Uh, for example, weak coalition which resulted in um, changes in vote of no confidence where we have here a lot of um, easy uh, vote of no confidence. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six votes of no confidence which resulted in instability I ten over it also resulted in instability. So the challenge basically is to maintain stability and ensure uh, minimizing party hopping. So the challenges was focus or blame at the electoral system and the party structure. Now the main challenge is here. Oh, my apologies, but the main challenges here are weak party system, large number of political. So these are the main challenges here. But here, the factors that uh, affect the development of political parties, importantly, is, is these three here. Absence of a social cleavage, plural, plurality electoral system, and convergence of a party platforms, or lack of dominant party. So here, absence of a social cleavage, and I've discussed earlier, that's why I'm saying it's interrelated. Weak party system and fluid party system result in lack of a mass party system formed. As a result, there was no social cleavages for parties to come and cling together so that a sort of ideological uh, or composition of ideological, political ideologies will develop. And the electoral system, one man, one vote, sort of supports the tribal and personalized uh, voting. And then we have lack of dominant party uh, in the party system, which led to the coalition, uh, continuous coalition and votes of no confidence in the floor of parliament. So here, the two questions here are sort of interrelated. Um, let's, let me discuss number two which is discuss the efforts put in place and state whether these efforts are enough to address the party system. Now let's go to the efforts here. Now as a result, now as a efforts put in place all are geared towards uh, establishing some sort of stability, political stability. And that is the reason, re reason why this idea of political engineering comes in. And the two um, important uh, areas to look at is the electoral system and uh, the political parties. So a change in electoral system. So normally the first pass the post voting system, one man one vote, sort of entertains the tribal and personalized uh, system, uh, personalized tribal voting. So when you extend the preference to three, the LPV that we are using now, the idea is sort of to spread out and uh, address this uh, tribal voting uh, system. So you may give, the idea is you give one vote to your preferred candidate and the two votes you can either spread it to the political parties that you uh, uh, you want to support and also um, other parties that is not, um, although you are supporting uh, that is not that is outside of let's say or for example here so you give one vote to your to your party uh, one talk that is in a political party you give number two vote in the political parties that 
you wish to vote for that is talking about a policy and on the number three vote you give it to a friend okay uh, preference for example if your friend is uh, standing for a political party you can give the third vote for this but the idea is spreading of the preference uh, sort of break the cycle of tribal and ethnic voting so the second reform was to look at organizing the political party system itself and this is true and when you have uh, the two let's say the OLIPEC coming in okay the OLIPEC tries to reorganize okay the fluid party system by providing uh, the organization the finances and ensuring that the political party sort of exceeded the ex uh, life expectancy so these are the the three um, well, these are the the discussion for uh, question number three which is discuss the efforts put in place so the two efforts that is put in place here are uh, to look at strengthening the electoral system and um, to reorganize and put a proper structure into the party system now the factors that is affecting the growth of party system and the factors are there is absence of a social cleavages okay which is important for the formation of a political party and the plurality voting system in our case one man one vote sort of entertains this tribal and personalized voting and convergence of party platforms lack of dominant party for example party copy pasting policies ideas there was no dominant party up until 2002 and here the challenges of political instability is weak coalition of government which resulted in the number of changes as a uh, vote of no confidence due to vote of no confidence and the number of prime minister um, the high turnover rates here which affected uh, stability and members uh, only looking concentrating efforts on re seeking re-election as a result they have neglected their jobs roles and responsibility at the le electorate and as such has led to their uh, defeats in subsequent elections after 1977 so this basically gives us the uh, sort of summary looking into the uh, lecture on political parties before the test